Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Taste. My name is James Gersbrook, aka The Intrepid Wino, and I thought I would open something up uh, from the cellar for a Sunday. Uh, I hope you enjoyed um, previous uh, episodes with some old wines. Uh, it certainly stirred up some conversation. Uh, another wine that possibly people might not has, think that I'd be really into, but definitely uh, considering, if you, if you know my background, you know, I spent four years working for Domaine Chandon in the Yarra Valley, uh, which is part of uh, the Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy group, who own numerous wineries around the world, uh, all in a very premium kind of category. Uh, in Australia, they also own Cape Mentel. And so I had lots of interest in, in the wines of Cape Mentel and um, really appreciated their legacy of uh, particularly Cabernet, Cabernet blends in uh, the Margaret River of Western Australia. So uh, I secured what I could and here's another one that I think I must have bought on Langton's at some point. It is the 1995 Cape Mentel Cabernet Sauvignon. It uh, is considered to be one of the top Cabernets in Australia. Uh, sort of was one of the wines that put Cabernet, uh, particularly for the Margaret River, on the map. Uh, I think it won back-to-back -back Jimmy Watson trophies. Uh, if you don't know what Jimmy Watson trophy is, it's the best one-year-old red wine at the uh, Royal Melbourne Wine Show. <coughs> Excuse me. So, 1995. Uh, I think in doing research when I bought this, I probably would have found this to be of decent quality. Um, I'm at home at the moment, so I'm using my Fantastic Code 38 wine knife, which was given to me by the guys at Cellar Hand uh, when I helped out at their trade day. Thanks guys, for this. it's an amazing piece of technology. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, I think Langton's rank it pretty high, it's pretty sought after. Current vintage is, I think it's over 100 bucks now. Um, let's hope I can get the cork out without too much trouble. Nope. I'm really not good with these old corks. So when your cork breaks like that, um, it's important if you're going to continue trying to get it out with the, uh, the cork screw. Be very gentle when you screw it in the second time because otherwise it might break or you might push the cork into the bottle. Alright, I got it all out, I think. This is probably going to be a little bit in there. But that's, again, my shoddy craftsmanship. I probably need to get a different apparatus to, uh, to open these kinds of bottles, these older bottles. Again, another reason why screw caps can be quite fantastic. So, let's see. Still lots of colour, still very bright, very, very intense. Not, not really like dense in terms of like the concentration, how thick it is, um, but more, it's still, it's still got plenty of colour, uh, still bright, red. It's good to smell. Mmm, classic mature Cabernet notes. It's moving away from the um, the blackberries the really really ripe sort of even even some dark cherry notes which is quite interesting um, but it's moving away from them and it is showing a little bit of um, sort of mature leaf, mature, um, nice kind of radishes. Yeah, it's quite complex. It's a very good nick. Let's taste.
I think I've got this wine at exactly the right time because it still has some fruit. It's not exuberant. It's not like really vibrant. It's quite supple, very soft. It's not jammy at all. It's sitting in a nice kind of um, confident place. Uh, you see that varietal character of the Cabernet coming through, but it has maturity to it. It's, uh, it's really come together. The tannins are present without being too aggressive. The oak, although is definitely there, is um, it's pretty pretty well contained. It's very balanced with the uh, with the wine. Um, it's got some nice supple characters as well. It's very silky. It's it's had enough time really to come together. So this is uh, it's looking pretty good. You can sort of see, it, it's, to be honest, it's not the kind of character you tend to see in Cabernets in more recent vintages. They tend to show a bit more oak, but again, it, it sort of remains to be seen how they hold together over time. You know, this is a 20-year-old wine, keep in mind, uh, definitely the oldest wine I think I've tasted on uh, Let's Taste so far, but it really does show the staying power of great Cabernet and great Cabernet regions like Mug River. Um, I'm not a, a massive fan of, of Cabernet or of, of what's referred to as the Bordeaux blends in general, but, um, but when they're good, they can be fantastic. So this is going to be pretty special for tonight. I'm really excited to, uh, to have this with some dinner. But um, thank you guys for watching this little tasting on YouTube today. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like, maybe comment, tell me, share me, uh, with me a story about Kate Mantel or with old Cabernet, perhaps from the Margaret River. Uh, and make sure you're subscribed to the Intrepid Wino channel for more Let's Taste videos just like this. But uh, until next time, cheers.